decided to come here like 24 hours ago. We had no idea what we were doing or where we were going, and then we went too far in one day, and then we had to sleep in a rest area in the truck. So, Dana, how'd you sleep? <laughs> Today is our five year anniversary. Yes, and we were in White Horse. Didn't think we were gonna be in White Horse, it was just a random spur of the moment trip. Our original plan was to hike for three days but there was thunder and lightning in the forecast, so we decided, why not come to White Horse? So instead, we came to Smoky White Horse. Rugged, but it looks like a rugged version of Sweden. It's really cool. We were driving towards Whitehorse and we saw that there was a sign for Miles Canyon and we decided to check it out. It's pretty stunning. Very beautiful. There was a bridge, suspension bridge back there, and the water's just turquoise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turquoise. It's just a nice green. This isn't quite like a regular water bottle. It's a no. lot harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That looks pretty funny. No, no, it looks great. <laughs> it's totally, it's in there, it won't fall. We'll be really complaining if it falls. Because this is our only way to get water. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we have, go to the store. Yeah, I always imagined the Yukon to be like difficult to get to and like it would take a really long time but we got here in a day oh yeah like, 1300 kilometers of driving in a day <laughs> I think it's a lot like, yeah. you're doing nothing but driving the whole day but but hey we're here I mean but I always imagined we'd need to take a lot of time off to come up here yeah. but you don't actually like 
We should have come up here a long time ago. Yeah. Just have to do the long haul of driving for a day and then. And then enjoy Then rest. camp in a rest stop because you can't find a campsite. She says she's tired already. She's very lazy. Oh, she's fault is that? She's been under house arrest because of her hurt leg. Aspen injured her knee somehow, um, which is apparently a common injury for athletic dogs, but that means that we weren't allowed to take her for a walk for two months. <laughs> yeah, so she's become kind of lazy. It's actually kind of nice. <laughs> she was crazy before. Yeah, she was. Like, we. It seems to be doing good. It doesn't shake now. Her when she's legs standing still. doing it really well. Good. So hopefully it's not too bad. We might have to keep her on house arrest for a little bit longer. But we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully that's the end of it because I'd really like to take her for walks and go for walks myself. It's got like green and other greens. <laughs> White. It's, green. it's not? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> Keeping that a souvenir from the Yukon River. I don't want one. I don't want one. I don't want one. She's just laying her tongue on my friggin' pants. That is so nasty. Remember? I keep being like, blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. Hello. How are you? No, <laughs> that's weird.
There's always something disturbing under the park bench. Or on the park bench. Or around the park bench.